Hey, it's Gabby with Facing Finances. Let's talk wealth. Today we're going to focus on the stock market. What do people really mean when they say the stock market? Well, typically when you hear the term stock market, it's referring to three things. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, the NASDAQ, or the S&P 500. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is a weighted index of the market price of the 30 largest companies. Now, they primarily trade on the New York Stock Exchange, which you'll hear NYSE, and a few trade on the NASDAQ. This chart is as of close of business November 8, 2017. The main thing that I want you to see here is that the Dow closed up. The NASDAQ, and that stands for National Association of Securities Automated Quotations, is an actual exchange where investors can buy and sell stocks. This chart shows the close on November 8, 2017, and as you can see, the NASDAQ closed up. So the S&P 500 is actually an index of 500 stocks that are selected by economists because they are deemed to be leading indicators of the U.S. economy. This S&P 500 chart is also from close of business November 8th. As you can see, the S&P was up at the close. So you've just gotten a high level overview of the quote stock market. But now what does that really mean? Okay, well let's break it down in a couple of parts. So if you own stock in the market and hear that it's up, that's a good thing for your portfolio. Now when you hear that it's down, it's a bad day in the market and your portfolio is probably down too. But that perspective really only applies to you if you have money invested in the actual stock market. So what does it mean if you're not invested in the market but you ultimately want to start investing? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're going to take a look at Apple's stock price over the past year. The ticker symbol is AAPL and it trades on the NASDAQ. This chart shows the performance for Apple stock over the past year. So from November 8, 2016 through November 8, 2017, what you can see on the surface is that the stock price has risen. Let's take a look at the chart a little closer. Now, the close on November 8th, 2017 was $176.24. The close on November 8th, 2016 was $111.06. The spread between those two numbers is the per share gain or the appreciation per share. That number is $65.18. Let's break this down a little further. 10 shares a year ago would have cost you $1,110.60. If you purchased 10 shares at the closing price of November 8th, those same 10 shares would have cost you $1,762.40. So, if you had purchased 10 shares a year ago, you would have a net appreciation of $651.80. To a stockholder, that's great news because you've seen your investment go up. If you held off on purchasing Apple stock and you're planning to go in now, that means you are going to pay $651.80 more than you would have last year. I'm looking at the chart and I get so excited with charts and data and I don't want to bore y'all. So the only thing that I'm going to point out here is that Apple actually just hit a 52 week high. As you can see, my disclaimer says that this is not a stock recommendation. I chose Apple because a few days ago I had a conversation with a gentleman who said that he wanted to get into the stock market and he was particularly interested in technology and he was just afraid to do it. 
We pulled up Apple real quick because he mentioned that that's a company that he was looking at and we just looked at the appreciation. Past performance is not an indication of future performance, but using historical data, current news information should all be helpful research tools for you as you make your investment decisions. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I have enjoyed putting it together. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions or want us to go deeper into the topic. And check us out at www.facingfinances.com. My name is Gabby Delisme with Facing Finances. Have a great day.